Welcome to Liberty Explained. My name is Chris Spangle. Thank you so much for joining me here on the show. We explain libertarianism and politics by taking your questions. And you can ask us a question by writing in at ask at wearelibertarians.com. And make sure you check out libertyexplained.com where we have past episodes, all kinds of different topics that you can look up and find libertarian answers, and then also many, many book recommendations and resources. So today we are answering the question, can you punish a child under the non-aggression principle? What do libertarians believe about corporal punishment? Now, the non-aggression principle says that you do not initiate violence on others to achieve social or political goals. And now, that is a statement of how to run your government, not necessarily how to run your life. Punishing your children, yes, you have a right to punish your children. You do not have a right to use violence on your children. It's an inappropriate response given a child's inability to properly form an intent and aggress against a parent. A child throwing a tantrum is not the same thing as the government coming in and violating your rights. Now, as Dakota Hensley wrote on WeAreLibertarians.com, quote, children are special individuals. They need guidance in life and do not have the mental ability to be fully in control of their lives. However, if we treat children as property, we expose them to the possibility of abuse and reduce their independence. Therefore, in a free society, we must give children a different kind of individualism that recognizes that children must be guided by their families and their community. Children's individualism is not the same as adult individualism. Now, he continues, a good parent knows when to intervene and guide their child. If the parent fails, the community shall intervene and form a voluntary child protective services if abuse is being committed against the child. Children are the responsibility of their family and community. Both raise the child and shape how it sees and interacts with the world. If one fails, the other intervenes. So, in other words, in a libertarian society without government, you still would need safety nets for kids that are in abusive situations. The sad fact is that a child abuse would still continue even under the most utopian conditions based on just the way that human beings are. So, libertarians would still have systems set up to aid children who are in danger or who are abandoned. Now, many libertarians, including my wife and I, subscribe to some form of gentle parenting. Ultimately, we've concluded that we need to model the kind of behavior that our kids should have. If we aren't going to use violence to solve our, our problems individually and within society, then how can that be the first lesson? That violence is okay, and that I need you to act the way that I want you to act, or else I'll hit you. That just teaches the kid that they need to be violent. And so I think it does a child a great disservice using any form of violence and coercion against them. And I would look into gentle parenting. So uh, when you ask the question, can you pi punish a child under the NAP? The NAP isn't necessarily a, an all-encompassing philosophy on how to run your individual life and your family. Um, and yes, libertarians do believe in corporal punishment. I mean, sometimes a SWAT, a, a gentle SWAT on the butt, and a younger child who can't reason yet gets their attention and prevents them from being harmed. So it wouldn't be a crime in a libertarian society. Um, but you really have to think about how you teach your kids about violence and when is it okay to use violence. And throwing a fit in a grocery store is not necessarily the best place to beat the heck out of them. So I hope that answers your question. If you have questions, please write in at ask at wearelibertarians.com. And if you enjoyed the conversation, then please share this with your friends. And we'll talk to you again soon here on Liberty Explained.